but that didn't work out like I wanted to because it just warped it. And so I decided to come over here, make it three different pieces. But as you can tell from these pieces, once we put the bead in it and tried to uh, bend it again, it just messes up the whole shape of it. So we just, I just decided to um, make it one straight piece and get all that done, then decide to go to two hard curved pieces. And then uh, that'll be that. All right, now I want you to take a look at this. You see that we got the beads, and this is all done by an offset uh, bead roller that we use with offset dies. And um, we just rolled them like that. It took a while because it's pretty hard when you only have one person doing it. And as you can tell, we just have it all spot welded together. And that's because my dad, he's just too cheap to buy anything. As you probably could have told, tell, been able to see in the 57 over there, he had to make his own floors. They make that too, but that's like 800 bucks. so and he doesn't want to spend the money on it. So this could have been bought. This whole piece could have been bought. We could have had it together in a day and uh, hours maybe. You know, but he doesn't want to spend the money on it. It's like 150 piece, 150 dollars for the piece, and um, so uh, now I got to make it. It's already been about a day and a half, two days work on it, and uh, I'll go here and show you the machine that we use to put in these uh, rolls. And this is it. It's all set right here for the dies. And you can interchange those, make them whatever you want, as long as they are made. For example, you just put it in there, you roll it, and it puts this little indention in it. And that way you got a bead, and it really enforces the metal a lot. Makes it a lot stronger than what it would have been without them. Alright, now if you look on this door here, it just it's completely a ton better than the other door so what I think I'm gonna do is instead of um, making a whole nother panel or fixing it I'm just gonna patch up each spot that needs or looks like it needs to be patched and hopefully that'll be good enough for him so I can get the cobalt in here and get it going and get it on the road and that way he, he just won't bug me about my projects anymore because he's just got thousands of them that he hasn't finished yet so I don't know we'll see what happens